along the Rio Grande and then moved by Mexican officials. The videos coming out from the other side of the border shows heightened tensions between migrants and the Mexican authorities. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live near the U.S.-Mexico border with a look at where the hundreds of migrants are going. Shelby. Well, Andy and Natasia, Mexican officials saying the reason they moved those migrants away from that tent camp was due to the cold weather we've been having, saying that children and adults were getting hypothermia and pneumonia. But of course, we're getting videos. We're seeing the tensions that were there as they were trying to move those migrants out. Go ahead and take a look. Where did you guys graduate from to be pushing people like that? There's no animals here, brother. There's no animals here. What, we're all delinquents now? A police officer could then be heard telling the migrants to get back. Video show parts of the 10 camp on fire as officials tear it down and Mexican law enforcement in riot gear. The director for the Border Network for Human Rights saying some of the resources at that camp that went up once Venezuelans began being expelled under Title 42 came from El Paso. I don't know why and who burned the tents. What I can tell you is that many of us here in El Paso and many members of our community contributed with that camp to provide with, uh, with um, med medication, medicines, uh, uh, with, with, uh, with some of the tents and chairs. At this point, we know that some migrants went to a park in Juarez, but authorities moved them out of that park with the majority of those migrants turning down the opportunity to go to a shelter. Now, as we